bromelain, which is one of my real, real, real pets. Um, bromelain, for me, you have to be very careful. Most bromelain supplements that are sold aren't very active, okay? You need to get about 1,200 what is known in, as GDUs. That's the measurement. Gelatin digestive units is, is what it sounds for. Less than that and more than that, it doesn't work. It's an enzyme that really... Um, it's called a protein, a dietary proteolytic enzyme because it actually helps treat the proteins in your body. But it also does much more than that. In other words, it helps the proteins go where they're needed. This is really only available in ripe pineapple stems and ripe pineapple. But the, uh, the amount in the pineapple stem is eight times more than in the pineapple. So please just bear that in mind. It's used throughout Europe as an anti-cancer. Uh, substance has been known for at least 50 years and many, many holistic clinics throughout Europe wouldn't treat a patient without formalane. Interesting. And, and to be honest I'm with you, whether it's arthritis, multiple sclerosis, all directly, in fact, multiple sclerosis is theorized to be part of the problem uh, by the lack of proteolytic enzymes. And I'm not trying to make light of that, but that is actually in the medical literature. We know that bromelain helps with rhinitis, it helps with hay fever, it helps with many allergic things, and it's an absolute adjunct to what you're talking about, the caprylic acid. I certainly would never go a day without taking at least one bromelain because its effect on the cardiovascular system and the immune system is quite extraordinary. But I, I find tremendous benefit with people with arthritis, osteoarthritis and rheumatoid. And the other thing it does do is it reduces the inflammation for gout sufferers. But the other thing it does, <laughs> while I'm shouting at you all, is it alleviates the edema and of the inflammation to do with fractures, so that fractures improve much, much quicker if you take your bromelain. And it will, in fact, reduce the quantity of Staph aureus, which is one of the few things that is known to deal with Staph aureus. Um, it will reduce that as well. There's, there's very uh, little that I couldn't say is so important about it, but you must get the, the one, forget the milligrams, it's got to be 1,200 GDU. That's the, that's that's the only one that really works. But it's very important also to realize that people with cancer, bromelain enhances the ability of many anti-cancer pharmaceutical drugs uh, to um, stimulate the regression of cancers. And it increases, in fact, <laughs> very strangely, a lot of the antibiotics, which we know have devastating effects within the body, it seems to control a lot of the devastation, but it also improves the effectiveness. In fact, many of the patients will have to take half of their antibiotic if they take their bromelain because it's so effective. Am I sort of rabbiting on too long for no, you? No, I appreciate that very much. I was not aware of all of that for bromelain. Now, oh, yeah. and also, don't you recommend that when you do your juicing, if you do a fruit juice, to take the core of the pineapple, which I always used to throw away, yeah. and put that through your juicer also? Oh, absolutely. In fact, use the whole pineapple. But it must be ripe. R-I-P-E. Without that, the bromelain won't be activated. So mm. it's like bananas. When, they st when the pineapple starts turning a little bit black, that means the starch has turned to the sugars, which will deliver the enzymes.